What's going on, YouTube? It's Chief Text Films, your tour guide on the road to elevate in your image. And on this channel, I highlight my wins and losses so you can capitalize off of my wins and suffer none of my losses. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. I already showed you how I edit my music videos on my iPad. Now it's time to show you my photography workflow. And for my photography workflow, I use Lightroom and Infinity Photo. So let's pick a photo. Um, I start off in Lightroom first so I can fix all of the, uh, so I can fix the photo first. So let's go to, start off with light. Start off with the exposure. Crank up the contrast a little bit. Um, I always put my highlights down, trying to get some of that sky back. Bring up some shadows. Actually, you can use the uh, the mask tool and brush on brush into the areas that you want to lighten up. So her face is a little bit dark, so I want to lighten up her face, her arm. These areas right here. Then you go back into light, crank up the shadows, crank up the exposure a little bit. There we go. And I'm done with that. Now let's go back into light, get back to editing the rest of the photo. Put some contrast on it. Um, I didn't shoot this photo on my GH4. I shot this photo on my FS700. So the quality on the photo is not that good because it's coming straight out of the FS700, uh, which is a cinema camera. So, um, But it's all I had at the time. I left my GH4 at the house. So um, I could push this image a little bit, but not as much as I would be able uh, GH4 image. So we're going to go back in, brighten it up a little bit with the whites. Bring some of the, crush the blacks a little bit. Um, I think that looks good. If you long hold on, if you long hold on the picture, you could see the before and after. So that was before, that's after. Looks amazing. Let's go to color. Um, use this eyedropper, this white balance tool. Put it on something white. There we go. Click the, Make sure you click the check mark. There we go. There we go. Um, everything looks good there to me. Let's go. Let's crank up the saturation just a little bit. Just a teeny bit. Let's go into effects. Bring up the clarity. Not too much. Texture a little bit. I like to crank on the dehaze just to bring the contrast back to the picture. Um, see what? A little bit of vignetting, a little bit, slight bit. Then let's go, let's bring that midpoint to the vignetting out. Um, feather a little bit more. Actually, I don't think I like any vignetting on it. Well, just a teeny bit. All right, let's go up to detail. Bring the sharpening up a little bit. Noise reduction up a little bit. All right. And that's it. If you long press on the before and after, you can see the difference. Big difference. Love it. Looks good. Okay, so let's take it from here. Uh, save it to camera roll. Maximum available. Maximum available quality. Let's get out of Lightroom. Open up Affinity Photo. I love this app, man. This app is amazing. It took me away from Photoshop. Now all I use is Affinity Photo. Click on the plus, plus icon. Um, 
import from photos um, let's go into recently added pick our photo now like I said I shot this with the FS 700 so the um, the aspect ratio isn't good for Instagram it's not a 4 by 5 aspect ratio it's 16 by 9 so it's a little bit too long for Instagram but I could use this on just like it is I could use it on um, Facebook or something so I'm gonna edit it like it is that's that's what I get for not bringing my camera but okay so let's go into editing in the affinity photo this is where I get rid of all of the blemishes smooth the skin um, them two things mainly you know I did all of the the actual color correction and stuff in Lightroom so let's go ahead and get rid of the blemishes and smooth the skin her skin is already smooth so we're just gonna go in and enhance it a little bit make sure you in the photos persona go down to this stamp right here where it says clone brush double click on it well click it twice and they go to in painting brush so we're gonna go into in painting brush and just start painting away the blemishes get rid of the stretch marks just in the theme of editing we're gonna go ahead and get rid of all of that all right, so all of the blemishes are pretty much gone. Now that all the blemishes that we want are gone, we can start on smoothing the skin out. Let's go back to the photo persona. Um, if you click on this right here, the the layers, you bring up the layers, make sure that the layer is selected. Then we can go down to, I don't even know what this is, this the filter button, which is looks like a funnel. We're going to scroll all the way down the the filters until we get to until we get to frequency separation. So I click apply, apply. And what that's going to do is open up back up to the layers um, layers tab. It's going to give you a high frequency and a low frequency. What I like to do is take the low frequency, long press to select then duplicate, I'm duplicating the low frequency. And then from the, the, I'm doing all of my corrections on this low frequency. Just in case I mess up, I can, I still have another frequency, a low frequency below that. So from the low frequency, we're going to close the layers panel. Then we're going to go to the selections persona. Click the freehand selection. And let's start with her arm. All you do is draw around. It don't have to be too precise because later we're going to go back in and start. Uh, later we're going to go back in and start deleting. I mean, we're going to go back in with the brush and delete the hard edges. So it don't have to be perfect. Just go around her arm. Now that that's selected, you... Like I said, make sure you're on the first low frequency layer. And then you go back into the filters, go to blurs, and we go to Gaussian blur. Now, this is where um, you can mess with the radius. Just put the radius up to something that's that smooths the skin out. Um, right now it's at 12. Make sure you click apply. And now I can uh, deselect, deselect the selection. Then I can go into the eraser tool, which is in the uh, photos persona. Um, I can go into the eraser tool and just erase the hard edges because a little bit of the um, a little bit of the mass is. Like her, her, this bathing suit is going to bleed in into the selection. So, And then, you know, all these other colors are going to bleed into the edge of the selection. Go in and delete the selection. I mean, erase, <laughs> erase the hard edges. Just erase the hard edges. And I like to erase the creases, too. There we go. So now, that looks a little fake, right? Go back to the layers. You click on 
the low frequency layer, click on these three dots right here and take the opacity down to something that looks more realistic. It's usually around 50. That's why I like to leave it at is 50. So now this is now that we've done that, this is gonna set us up for everything else. So now all we gotta do is go into the selections persona, click the freehand tool, and let's start with her face now. I like to get I don't wanna be in the eyes and all of that, so this is just how I do my selection. I do half of the face. And come back around just to make sure I don't get none of the important stuff. I like a little bit of blur on the bridge of the nose. Then boom, the selection is done. Then you don't have to go back into blur. You can just click on this, this tab down here at the bottom. And that's going to put the exact same blur you had on there before. You just got to make sure you click apply. And then... Long press, deselect, go into the eraser tool, which is in a photos persona. Go into the eraser tool and get rid of the hard edges again. You want to check the width of your brush, see how big your brush is. If you click on that slider, it'll pop up to show you how big it is. Make sure the hardness is at zero. And then just go in and get rid of the hard edges. And from at this point, I'm done editing my photo. Um, in actuality, I can get one done in about five minutes, which in Photoshop, it usually takes me a lot longer. Um, just probably, I think the, the biggest thing that's, speed, that's sped me up is the pen. It's not really the program. It's the pen. Um, so I'm trying to get away from Adobe, period. And this is a great step, being able to edit my photos on my iPad. The videos is still kind of shaky. It's missing some uh, some key elements in Luma Fusion. So I'm gonna hold off on the video for now because I love After Effects and and uh, and Premiere. But but I'm completely done with Photoshop. Um, I do my thumbnails and everything in here. I just need a little bit more practice on the Photoshop side, which I don't do too much Photoshopping anyway. So. This is perfect for me for editing photos and getting those done in a timely manner. But anyway, if you like this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. And I'll check y'all out on the next one, man.